are a newly graduated student and your dream is to be a CFO of an accounting firm but you have no clue as to how to get there. Or say you're already working and you want to figure out how to get further in your career or switch jobs altogether. Well, today we're going to let you in on a little hidden secret that most people don't know about. If you've never heard of Skills Future, it's basically an initiative that helps Singaporeans improve their skills. But what many people don't know is that the Skills Future website actually has a section called Skills Framework. And this is a hidden gem. Skills Framework is like an encyclopedia for career information that you can use to plan your next step. And it's so much better than Googling because the information provided on the Skills Framework website is legit and customised for Singapore. You know I've always loved tech, but I also always thought it would be really cool to be a cop. Really? Yeah, so cool! Except, I, I don't really want to like go out there and run after bad guys because I'm scared. That's what I thought. Yeah, I wonder if there's a job that will kind of let me be like a cyber cop where I can sit indoors in air conditioning and be all comfy and stuff but still get to fight bad guys on the internet. Look at my dream, look. Ooh, I'm a hacker. I'm gonna hack into this system and rule the world! <laughs> password, what's the password? Rainbows. Nope. Peanut butter. <gasps> yes, I'm in! That's what you think! You see your mouse moving? You see your mouse moving? You're not controlling it. I am. No, you don't get to hack me back. What should I do with all this newfound power? Buy a bouncy castle and send it to your address, which is also found on file. And I have called the net police. They are on their way. Well, I'd love to be a preschool teacher because I love kids and I actually do quite a bit of babysitting when I'm not acting. Check out my dream. Good morning, children. It's a sunshiny day. And how are you today? No, when I say, how are you today, you have to say, fine, thank you. How are you today? I need to pee. Me too. Oh no. Um, you take her to the toilet, okay? Let's continue with the lesson. So look here on the board, it says A, B, C. Repeat after me. One, two, three. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's A, B, C. One. A, mm. No, no, no. Black mark for you. It's A, B, C. Except we haven't got the faintest idea how to get there. Or if we even cut out for it. That's where Skills Framework comes in. So we're here at the Skills Framework website. And once you're here, you scroll all the way down and you find a list of the different sectors in Singapore. I'm not sure if there's an exact job for what I like to do, but if there is, I'm sure it's going to be under Infocom Technology. So let's check that section out. So you scroll down and under sector information, you get an overview of the industry as a whole. Let's open that. Whoa, it's like a whole brochure. It tells you like key statistics about the industry. Where is the part where it says what you can be? If you scroll down some more, you can see what are the specific jobs. So it says view the occupation and job roles. And I think I would be a forensic investigator. Sounds pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Like a digital cyber cop. The forensic investigator views issues from multiple perspectives and actively communicates his thoughts and engages with other team members. I would be perfect. You know why? Why? Because I have multiple perspectives, as I have many aspects to my personality, and I love to talk, so I would actively communicate everything. So that means she's a little schizo. This part is pretty clear. It shows all the tasks. So let's say you want to be a forensic investigator, it kind of shows you exactly what you would have to do. And then if you go down, it just tells you what kind of skills you need. Lo. So if you go to the career pathway section, you can find out how you can work your way up to your goal. So it basically shows you the typical career progression within the industry. Since I want to be a forensic investigator, I need to start off as a security executive. That sounds pretty cool too. Mm -hmm. And then work my way up to forensic investigator. Actually, I think you'd be perfect for it. I think so too. Yeah, because she's actually really detailed. She likes to do a lot of research. She reads a lot. So And I've watched a lot of Law & Order. So I know how it works. I guess you would be... Early childhood care and education. That's right. Oh, look at all the happy kids. Yeah, so cute. Oh my gosh, your guy is so my cool. Guy is so much cuter. Okay, I'm not tech savvy, so you can scroll. That. Yes. <laughs> you start at infant toddler educarer. Mm -hmm. Educarer is a word. You learn new things every day. Yep. So it basically shows you how you can climb your way up all the way to senior center leader. I want to see like the qualities that it takes for you to be a good educarer. Great sense of humor. You are. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Humor means like you're funny, not you laugh. I, I did. I, I am funny. I laughed at myself. Okay. I laughed at my joke that and I had And then in my you, head. at the same time, you tick the high level of energy box. Perseverance. Perseverance. 
And that's how you know she's really good because for two years now she's been correcting the way I pronounce things and she has not given up. Yeah, and I'm very patient as I do it. I agree. So looking at the website, I thought it was going to be like a whole lot of information overload that I didn't understand but actually it was pretty clear. You look at the website and you end up going, hey, I know what my next step is. Okay, so actually I think Skills Framework is very new. So um, I'm looking forward to there being more and more sectors added in like, um, if you want to be an actress like Ross, what can you do to get there? That kind of thing. Yeah. You know? So a lot more sectors are still in the pipeline. So just keep checking back to see what are the new things being added in. Okay, so that's all we have for you today. If you want to find out more about what you can do, you can go to the Skills Future website. Yeah. You just so wanted to do that. Yeah, it's very exciting for me, you know. Go check out the website and maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to find a job you really like. <laughs>